I want your opinion. What is the song that you think made your career? Uh, I think definitely Rata. Okay, so that is hands down. You're like, I'm so grateful that song came into my life because it really opened doors for me. Had it not happened, maybe not. Yeah, because that was my first Bollywood song and I think uh, it was an incredibly large, big, super number to get as your first song. So definitely it took me to a different trajectory uh, altogether. And it's, it's still one of my biggest songs. Um, so I think I'm super grateful for that song being, you know, coming into my life because it definitely, otherwise before that I, I had just sung in regional, you know, projects and films. So this was my first Hindi number, definitely expanded my audience. And, um, and it's a beautiful yeah. song. It's for sure. It is. Um, with that song, though, how did you actually get it? Because when I was reading up, you know, Sonu Nigam has been talking about the industry. A lot of other people have been talking about how hard it is. Like, there, you know, we talk about movies. We talk about nepotism. We talk about how difficult, like, that's really kind of come to the front. People are kind yeah. of starting to talk about the music angle, too, right? And so I was reading that there's a lot of politics in music, too, that, you know, it's all about kind of having the right connection or, you know, sometimes they're like, who has the bigger name, you know, whatnot. And so yeah. for you to get that as your first Bollywood song, yeah. I was like, yeah. what's the real story behind that? Like, was that actually just offered to you or did you have to pull a lot of strings to kind of get that privilege? So actually, I, I like, I have no in industry connections. Like whatever I've done in music has completely been my like on my own you know without any anybody nudging anybody or saying that hey you know my niece or somebody sings or whatever um yeah so i think that's something that also makes me really happy that all of this that's happened has been very organic that's the funny thing about rapta because when even when i signed the audition and the, the scratch of it uh, i never went into the the booth with with any kind of expectation because I had the same thought in my mind that you know for sure a song of this magnitude which is already so famous okay he's biting my feet <laughs> bring up, bring up. <laughs> which is already so famous for sure um you know won't be given to somebody who is completely new and you know has no credibility so to speak in the industry so it was a like big surprise for me I think till the song actually came out it did not sink in at all for me. I think even after it came out, it took me a while to be like, oh, okay, I sang like a really big song, <laughs> you know? And so it, I think it's, so I think great things like this do happen to people who don't need to be associated, uh, you know, priorly to the industry, as you said, with the whole nepotism thing, which is why like when a lot of people interviewed me, you know, when, when my singles released, they all brought up this topic uh, which Sonu Nigam's kind of opened like a whole can of worms and I and I honestly had this feedback to give them that uh, maybe I'm an exception to the rule maybe that I mean that is I'm sure in a lot of ways an issue and I think more than issue it's it's the business right because anybody would want uh, people who, who have numbers who have a follower a big following already to, to kind of, it just helps them. It's just good business, I guess, for, you know, uh, for anybody who's producing a film or putting money into these kind of projects. So I can, I, I feel like it's understandable to make such decisions. But at the same time, I think the problem in the industry is that um, people don't communicate clearly. Like, I think that's the problem. Like, you know, if you do, if you do a recording and then it doesn't work out, I think the decent thing to do is to let the person know Instead of just kind of being like, oh, you know, like, you know, if you message people and they don't reply or a lot of that happens. And I think that's the problem more than the nepotism and weightage and all of that, because I think that's something that's there everywhere, you know, who has like more audience pull. And I think that's TRPs is, the, is like the same formula for TV as well. So I think the problem is the communication. Like people are just not like, you know, just, just tell someone like it didn't work out or it did work out or the song didn't go through or whatever. I think that's the issue, um, which is something that I faced as well. And I think we, but at the same time, people also need to understand that this is, you know, it's, it's a job. So a lot of people get sentimental when 
it, it works the other way as well. You know, like suppose a big artist, they go and sing a song and it doesn't work out with them. Then they get really uh, annoyed with the composer and they'd be like, hey, why didn't you give me the song? Like, you know, that's like the flip side of things. Um, so I think it's important to understand that at the end of the day, it's it's a song, it's a craft. And, you know, like the, the music comes before all of this. And I really hope that just people make decisions based on that <laughs> and not anything else. Yeah, that's interesting. Do you think you're now at a point where you can make the music that you want to make? Or do you feel like you still have to, they'll say like, oh, this is a big film. You have to do it. And even if the song's like whatever, or they're like, this is a dance song. And you're like, no, I want to do more like, you know, slow songs or something with better lyrics. Like, do you feel like you now have the power? Uh, No, not at all. (laughs) (laughs) Not at all. And I think that's also my personality. Like, I'm not the kind of person to really like, command or demand um, the situation like there have been moments where I've said no to like songs so it's not like I've just said yes to everything Um, the good thing though is that so far 90% of the work that I've that's come my way I think has come with that sort of predisposition from the composer that I think this song is going to suit you because you have a sultry voice. So you have a, like, I think people recognize that I have a certain texture and they call me for songs accordingly. So that way, it, I think it makes it easier for me because then I would say yes, because I know that they're calling me, you know, because they want that style. So I think that's a great thing. Uh, so it makes it so much easier for me to not have to say no. <laughs> and I, I, I don't really, I'm not the kind of person to, to do that. 